Big Ivan is roughly the size of a school bus, 8 meters long and weighs 25 tons. The bomb is so bulky that it needs its own specially modified plane to deliver the payload. It doesn't really make sense to make bombs this big, it's just not strategic. If actually used in battle, Sarbamba would be easy to spot lumbering through the sky and could be quickly shot down, and it's too bulky to deliver via missile. In the decades since Sarbamba, the nuclear weapon states have focused on developing smaller warheads. These are far easier to deploy. The largest nuclear weapon in the US arsenal today is about 40 times less powerful than Sarbamba. Even in 1961, it was generally understood that bigger isn't necessarily better. That's because explosive power doesn't correspond one-to-one -one with blast damage. Explosions scale the cubic root, not linearly. So while a 100 megaton bomb indeed releases 10 times more energy than a 10 megaton bomb, it will only damage about twice as much area. American newspapers at the time characterized Khrushchev's experiments as not only horrifying, but idiotic, pointing out that if five weapons at five megatons each are detonated, they will cause damage to far more area than a 150 megaton super bomb. And these smaller bombs are far easier to deliver. But actual use is not the point of Sarbamba. It wasn't built for war. It was built for glory. It's meant to make the world tremble at the thought of Soviet power. It's a city destroyer, to be used only as an absolute last resort.